Seven, roll her perception check. Oh. Uh, normal, I'm guessing? Yep. Okay. Sorry, for some reason. Oh! That's 20, good. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Sorry. Sorry, the chat wasn't rolling down for me, so I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Scrolling yeah. down. <laughs> so, um, so... Seven, out of curiosity, you try, you kind of move over and you want to get a look at those symbols. I was just thinking that, yeah. And I'm like, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> yeah, you, you look at one of the symbols and your eyes lock onto one. You pop it up for us again? Yeah, one more, one more time. Yeah. One more time now. Okay, so. <laughs> one more time. All right. So, oh, what? Okay, so yes, those are the set. Those are symbols, mm -hmm. and your eyes lock on to one. Which one? Which one? Oh, wait, wait, okay. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Oh, Whoa. oh my, that is not okay. That looks like a freaking oh. Pokemon. Why? <laughs> what is with y'all the? Pokemon. It doesn't look like a Pokemon. It looks like a. It looks like a behemoth. Oh. No. Anyway. Wait, look up Terrakion. No, mm -hmm. I don't think it looks like Terrakion. Okay, I'm gonna, um, we'll get into a debate about this. Okay, DM. Uh, are Are there any emotional feelings that I'm getting from this? Uh, yes. Fear. Terror. Anger. And a little bit of grief. Sybil. Seven? 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 <laughs> snatches away the paper so she doesn't have to look at it. Seven, what's wrong? That symbol. She she it looks like a She's pointing to the one at the top. <laughs> uh, the one that looks like kinda like a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> There's something evil it made me feel I felt something. And it was me. It was Anger and, and fear, hatred. I'm also sad at the same time. I don't understand. There's something really bad about that symbol. And yet I pity it. I don't know why. There's something really bad. Something not right. I don't know why I know it. When she goes over, she looks like she's going to go find Sybil, but then he's right there. <laughs> yeah. Sybil? How long have you been? How, how long have you been here? How much have you heard? Just some things. I admit I have been here a while, but... It's good. I have been... drifting in and out of focus. Could you, perhaps, look at the symbols too? See if there's one you recognize? I suspect there is at least one. I'm actually wondering you might recognize the same one Seven does. One shows Sybil the paper. All right, Josh, which one? <laughs> oh, no. You have the exact same vision. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> But instead, of, instead of instead of instead of feeling anger, 
all you feel again is just terror and grief. And you can clearly hear the sounds of screaming. One takes it away again. She sees that he's getting trouble. Saw something similar to what she did. I worry something is stirring, and I don't know if I don't know if I must. something to do with that skeleton figure. Something. Don't know what. Should we stop pursuing it then? Oh. Uh, no. You don't understand what that thing is! Right? We don't. That may be why. We want. To, we need to keep pursuing it. Seven. If someone were attacking your nest, or if they'd stolen an egg from your nest, you'd want to get the egg back, wouldn't you? Fox trying to say something. I think. Sorry. Just deep in thought. Really deep in thought for the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I drop a bomb? Yes. <laughs> I need... I mean, I think... I think you and I need to have a chat talk because I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> I might. And this... The more I think about it, the more I realize... Josh might actually do that. <laughs> Something absolutely terrifying? Yeah, yeah, he would. I'm not sure what he's going for, so I wouldn't mind some DMing later. All right. Well, I don't know. Well, okay, we'll figure that. All right, we'll figure that out. I just, but obviously, yeah, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to be spoiled. Sybil, too much Sybil himself would start having these same thoughts, just as I am. Sib will be thinking like, wow, the DM will do that? <laughs> would the luminous being really be that much of a yeah, yeah, he would. Because uh, I'm actually am clueless still. I'll let, um, I'll let you know I'll let you know if it yeah. makes you feel better. I'm actually just as clueless as you. Okay, good. I as long as I'm okay. Uh, if Josh was expecting me to know something, I kind of don't other than what he just told me. And, oh, oh no. Should I know some? Should I know more to this? Because I'm still clueless. <laughs> all yeah, right. all I'm picking up. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, um, Jojo has been waiting very patiently with it with his books, uh, just waiting for any for any. And uh, so, um, I'll let this lie. You yeah. guys do what you need to do. This is yeah. gonna be something i'll think about for a while anyways yeah so uh jojo you you it's like while everyone's uh ju just really deep in thought you just kind of plop the books onto the uh, onto the coffee table and you just kind of fold it fold, folding your arms it's like it's, you're just kind of you're just kind of you're just kind of pointing it's like i have a clue i have a clue <laughs> um what is it jojo I found some up. magic circles upstairs and a bunch of books, I think, that are on magic. But there are more? Yes, uh, 
jo Jojo and I investigated them a little bit, so it kind of confirmed our suspicions. Those were uh, experimental circles. You uh, mean how recent? Uh, unfortunately, we cannot tell. They are recently painted over, and you don't paint over a, you don't paint over a magic circle. So my only guess is that either someone beforehand sabotaged it, or the or the help decided to decided that it was purely aesthetic. Oh, when was it painted over? Mm, if I had to, if I had to hazard a guess, probably to. Two days a week tops. When did you see the fat man come in? Yesterday. So if you're if you're wondering if he's the one who painted them over, possibility. Um because there's also, also noticed, some missing items. Yes, we noticed that several of the uh, books upstairs, as well as all of the chests, there were a lot of containers up there. All of them empty, books were missing. So, based, based on, so clearly someone came in and sacked the place, took everything of value, and ran off with it. Hmm. Adrian, does this modus operandi sound familiar? Also, I can't make heads or tails of these books, so good luck with those guys. Jojo just reclines. Look, guy... Guy's smart, but he's not that smart. I'm what? Wait, didn't... Didn't Groot Slank say he cursed him with knowledge? Wait, wait, wait you curse somebody to make them smarter? Can you do that? Um, I mean, that thing was pretty powerful. Think of it this way. You could be cursed with the mo knowledge of your own demise. You could be cursed with the knowledge, the foreknowledge of an impending disaster. You could also be cursed with something that no one would believe you. There's also or, being cursed with false knowledge, I suppose. There's also false the ability, possibility, possibility cursed with so much knowledge at once that you have no idea what to do with it. Hang on, uh, Abigail. Yes? The fat man, was he alone? Were there other servants around that he was interacting with, talking to, working with? Uh, no. He was the only one. Hmm. So unless someone gave him deta very detailed and thorough instructions, that rules out the idea that he was, you know, coordinating smarter people. At least to uh, the degree needed to do this. He's known to be corrupt and very easily able to influence others. I wouldn't necessarily put that out of the realm of possibility just based on what I know from what Adrian has told me. I mean that I was wondering if maybe he'd gotten so you because, Adrian, you're saying he's not smart enough to be able to work with magic circles? No, well, at least... Not that I'm aware so of. I was so I was considering the, the possibility that he had gotten other servants to create the... Or other people to create the circles for him, but if he was doing going to this house by himself, it seems less likely. No, what my theory is, is that... He tried to replicate the magic circles and paint it over his mistakes. Hmm. That Isn't it? Or he copied what? down the experimental ones in perhaps a notebook, then tried to hide the evidence that those were there. Hmm. Has anyone here ever done mathematics? Well, uh, yes, I bet yeah, most of us have gone to primary school. <laughs> uh, I was self tutored. Uh, anyway, um, there's a type of mathematics called algebra uh, that where you can try to figure out what a missing number is based on what other numbers you have present. And we know that some of these books, well, some of the books were taken, 
This seems to be a rather... Com this looks like a comprehensive and complete collection. Could we perhaps deduce what was taken just by knowing what's still here? It would be a question for the res residents of the house. Hmm. I don't know. Or for the, or for the magic users. Yeah, but that is a smart idea. Yeah, Shylon and I, we don't use magic. Actually, Abigail, I did want to see if, um, I did want to use you for a test, if you don't mind. Hmm. Well, that's like, what, that's like, before we do that, why don't we, why don't we first check if the, the, what's missing from the books? Yes. All right. All right. So, Adrian, just from a cursory looking, just from a cursory look over, yeah, it's uh, this is an incomplete collection, but it seems as if, and if you if you were if you had to take a guess, guess like you're sixty percent sure of this theory, he was, and especially considering what you've seen today. You are 60% sure he took all the books that might be helpful for teleportation or planar travel. Adrian uh, relates that knowledge. <laughs> so the fat man is overcoming his physical disability by using magic to get places i think mean that's one theory more, i think it goes perhaps a little more sinister and deeper than that but all right you think he's friends with the rakshasa there seems to be some kind of connection to that down in the basement hmm. i think that he would oh no i'm not Adrian, sure the rakshasa what do you think what up? The, whatever that rock sh shasa thing that for down there, that's been da down there for a long time, and those circles up there are recent. I don't think there's a connection, but I do think it's worth pursuing both of those leads. You don't think the fat man might be a rock shasa? As I understand, they can shapeshift. I uh, Abigail looks more to Adrian. Is he smart enough to be a rock shasa? No. There's your answer. I've heard of people being so smart they pretend to be idiots. Oh, yes, you're right. Obfuscating stupidity, that is a thing. But based on uh, Adrian's description, it sounds like this guy's more the type to pretend... He's more the type who speaks in long words to, that he doesn't fully understand in order to pretend to be smarter than he actually is. Basically, basically, if this guy ever teamed up with the Rakshasa, he like, he would make the Rakshasa look bad. So either Ar Arpolian is just the biggest idiot around, or he is playing the longest game of 4D chess that would make even a devil blush. Isn't that though this truth though? You're either the biggest idiot in the world or the most insane genius in the world. But I'm more inclined to I I don't know. I think I'm more inclined to but believe it what a Adrian's assessment. So does that make me an idiot or an insane genius? <sighs> Jury's out. Beat me to it on that one. Hmm. But uh, I think from all of this, I think, and I think we should all probably go, go to, go to sleep because we do need, because there's going to be a lot of carriages going in and out and we do need to secure one before someone else does. It's a very, right. this is a very busy weekend. Before we leave, Abigail, I did want you and Jojo to test something. Very well. What is that? All right. It's going to involve you. It's going to involve using that meth that thing again. So if it does end up calling calling Raquel again, I want you to be absolutely silent. If she is in a if she's in a compromised position, we don't want to make things worse for her. 
but I have a theory that the portal may simply respond to the thoughts, desires, or something of the people using it, which is why it just happened to contact Raquel when a large group of people who had been thinking about and trying to find her were near it. You are the only one here who has pretty much nothing to do with her, so if you use the portal, it's entirely possible that it may contact someone else. If it still contacts Raquel, then it's very likely that somehow, for some reason, there is a portal underneath my family's home that was specifically designed to connect to an area where a missing child we've been trying to find is, and that seems way too big of a coincidence. Am I making any kind of sense? I don't speak com human well. Hey, I see what I, I, what I, common sense or not, I just know that I can help. I'm not very smart, but I can follow orders. All right. I've never... Th I've never thought you were dull. Just careless. <laughs> uh, I think sometimes they go hand in hand. Oh, no, 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 no. They're actually quite dissimilar. All right. Well, let's get that. Let's get this one shot and then straight to bed. We do. All right. We need to be, need to be well rested. Good minds. It's like strong, actually, strong minds require a lot of good rest. Actually, suddenly uh, he quickly grabs a bit of paper and just like quickly writes something down. And it's you. On the off chance you do hear Raquel's voice, put the paper in the circle. Maybe it'll send this message to her. All right. So, All right. as I understand it, this won't do anything if I'm nearby, correct? So why am I down? Yeah, and I'm gonna have well, to, and I'm gonna have to leave. We need to room. open it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna open it, let her let her in, and then close it behind her. I'm gonna stay out with you since it has okay. to be her. So it wouldn't open for anyone else, as far no. as we know. Okay, I push on it. All right. All right, so we walk in here, and then if we're going to repeat the pattern, then you then you're supposed to leave. Okay, uh, scream if anything happens. And again, right. Shylan's going to stay outside the room for this experiment to work. All right, so okay. Hmm. So. So basic. So what you're trying to do is, you, it's like you don't want Abigail to say anything if Raquel shows up again. Yes, if Raquel shows, if Raquel shows up again, say nothing. Just place the letter in the center of the room, and hopefully, the letter will be sent to her. All right, you can you can hear you both can hear through through the wall that yeah, it's a. Uh, that you do hear, you do hear Raquel again. Okay. And you, you hear, you hear, you hear yeah. You hear Ab you hear Abigail walking through. You hear Abigail walking, walking through. She kind of, she kind of gently knocks on the door. Jojo pushes it open. I don't like that. I had to do that. Did the letter go? Did the letter go through? No, it did not. She didn't. It didn't seem. It didn't seem aware. She didn't seem aware of its existence. But it was she. Did she sound like she was alone? Did she sound like there was other people with her? Uh, it didn't. It didn't sound like there was anyone. It didn't sound like there was anyone with her. It did sound like she okay. was eating. It did sound like she was eating, though. Okay. In that case, this. In that case, this time I'm gonna. I am going to go in. It sounds like whoever was chasing her is gone for now. This may be our, our only window. So yeah, Charlotte's going to step through. Jojo, do you mind closing the door behind us? Sure. You might want to use code. We don't know if it's specifically her eating. You Good don't idea. Want, you don't want to endanger her or give her away if no. it ends up not being her. Good idea. I think I've got something in mind. Okay. May not be smart, but I've got some good ideas every now and again. That you do. That at you least, do. 
I hope. <laughs> okay, I open door for him. All right, you open the door. And then when he gets through, I close it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, he's going. To, sorry, uh, he's going to be silent for a bit, and he's going to listen. Jalen, are you there? Dan dancing fool to wolf speaker. Dancing fool to wolf speaker. Does anyone copy? Yes. Who is wolf speaker? I'm guessing that's me. It's Raquel. I, I don't understand what's going on. What? Why are you wolf speaker? Because I spoke to. Because I can talk to some animals. Close enough. I had to make close enough. I had to make sure it was you, Raquel. I need you to tell me exactly what happened after exactly what happened after we last spoke and how you ended up where you are now. Okay, um I that night I was just sitting in the living room and then Akalon burst in. He started shouting obscenities at me and There was this black mist, and he he was trying to he was trying to grab me. He was gonna run me through with this with his spear, and then it's like he it's like he just seized up, and he just he just turned into this bombified corpse in front of me. I I ran away. Do you know which direction you ran? No, I just, I kept, I just kept, I just, I just tried to run, run, I just tried to run away from the city. I, I, I wasn't looking, and then I ran into someone. I couldn't get a good look at their face. They grabbed me, and next thing I knew, I was here. Have you, this here, have you been able to get any kind of look at it outside of? No, it's... As... I'm just trapped in this kind of... The, the, it's just this ruined house. It's at these bars, they're... But there are bars outside, they're broken, but... I was able to... There's... I think it's some sort of enchantment, but food just appears in here like every food just appears in here every evening. I see. And even it, it's, Is not, that... it's not mu <laughs> it's not much to say because it's usually very dark, but I've been here so long, it's I, can't, I think I can tell when day when day turns to day turns to whatever constitutes for night around here. So there is a cycle of day. So there is something of a cycle of day and night. Barely, but yes. Have you been feeling any pain, any weakness? No, not really. All right. Any and no other physical changes in yourself? No, just. Uh, the... <sighs> There's all right. There's a possibility. It's unconfirmed, but you may be in the plane of shadows right now, according to someone that should have killed you within a very within a day at most. So either you have an immunity or a resistance. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Fortunately, it does sound closer to the former. Hmm. Careful with the food, though. It could be a poison. They could be poisoned apples. Well, there is something you sh 
that I don't know if this will help, but there is something you should know about me. I'm all Liz. I'm adopted. Hmm. So you may not be in, so you're suggesting you might not be entirely human. I don't know. Humanoid. In Fenereth, unfortunately and fortunately, adoption is very trendy. It's a, it's a, it was intended to be something good, but some people use adoption as a way to show off displays of compassion. I'm familiar. Thankfully, my parents were the good were the good sort. So, just looking looking around, it does kind of look like a plane of shadow to me. All right. Stay careful, stay calm, stay smart. We will come find you. All right. I'll try to stay I'll try to stay here. I mean, there's food here, so Do what you think is best. All right. But Do what you think is best, but but also feel but also remember to adapt to the situation keep an ear out for any information you can gather anything that can help you all right you stay safe too i don't want you to i don't want you to get hurt trying to find me <laughs> a few cuts scrapes and bruises but, an, but a horde of puppet things and an entire arm me of the cord guards couldn't bring me down. I think I'll be fine. Hmm. That's not what I mean and you know it. Oshimi feels the urge to make a snarky cut. Don't get yourself killed trying to save me. Getting my, believe me, getting myself killed is never the first option. All right. It means I can't save other people. Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to disconnect now. All right. Goodbye. Good. It was good to hear from you. And he's gonna knock on the door. Jojo whispers through. <laughs> um, just a just a theory. I'm just curious. Are you capable of getting out of the room without my help? He tries the door. Uh no. <laughs> oh thank god. Oh thank Oh thank you. Camera. No, no, I can't. Okay, Jojo pushes on the door. <laughs> Is it a door of the situation where we could have opened the door at any time? I'd go, I would have thrown myself out the window. Hey guys, Jojo's a hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm just saying. He is. All right. Uh, all so, right. Silent is going to go right to, to the to the group, particularly Adrian and or Owen. Right. Um, All right, Jojo let's, 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 let's hop off. Let's hop off the bed. Jojo kind of scratches his head and goes up there. Wonder if anything else happened while we were down here. Oh yeah, he also snatches the paper up off of the ground as he leaves because since they're probably asleep by now, he'll just write down the stuff for tomorrow. 
stuff so he doesn't forget it by the morning. All right. So, am I to assume that everybody is heading to bed? Yep. Um. Wait. Uh. So, did someone say something? I mean, I just said yes. Uh. Well, basically, we um. Flint, Adrian, Sybil, Seven, and Olwyn are all going to be in the same area? Room? I don't know. Probably, do you see, Do you said there was a big room if we move stuff around, right? Do you, do you want to all sleep in the same room? Or... Uh, oh no, that, the, the rooms on the top, on the top right and the top left are, uh, are Caius and Abigail's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I just need to find where everyone else went. <laughs> uh, and Charlotte's gonna go upstairs to his room. Could you move me, Josh? Yep. Is everybody? All right. Uh, oh, we're no. at the top floor, next to the far right upstairs next bedroom, and right. basically Seven is just crawling under the bed, but she's still keeping her eyes wide open. Eyes wide open. <laughs> uh, are you in a green oh you're in a green room okay yeah, yeah there's green a green room and we're over on the far right don't be aside the Sybil where's Sybil okay so D Sybil is uh, I'm gonna move over to you where did he go <laughs> no I was just gonna squish you to this one room <laughs> technically Olwen is actually going to be outside I am really this is scared. normal I am a scared seven-year-old little ah seven ha ah, seven-year-old <laughs> little child. It's Flint. Zul's after me. <laughs> Duel. That's the fear. I am channeling that inner fear. Flint is right there. I need to move him over here. Jojo is going to be sleeping on the roof. <laughs> of course. All right. So, uh, Olwen, you wanted to do your thing. Uh, so so everyone is uh get coming in the going in the room together. Uh, what are you guys doing? Only reason I'm I'm guarding outside the room right now okay. just because that's my job now. Uh, I said Flint, the whole th it's those four in the room and me outside of it, but still looking in so that Seven feels safe. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Seven uh, does not feel safe. Seven cannot sleep. Uh, did you want to do the thing with Flint that you wanted to do? Yeah, is is that still is that still possible? Yeah, I think uh, though I'm going to move away slightly from the door, and uh, I'm just going to poke my head in really quick and say, uh, "We'll be right in, guys. Okay, just need to chat with Flint really quick." <laughs> I'm right here, Seven. I'm just going to close the door. I'm be right, right here. out here, okay? thing you know um <sighs> okay serious face <laughs> that shared memory potion obviously worked really well mm -hmm. but it made me think of something else as well what you of course remember the jokers of course i do you know how seven Seems to have a lot of her memories locked away, right? Yeah. Those jokers seemed to unlock something uninhibited, unknown. At least inside of our companions and even in Raquel. Something that we wouldn't think of to do normally or allow ourselves to do normally. What if those jokers could possibly be used in a potion to bring to the surface Seven's repressed memories. Like Something some like... sort of memory antidote in a way? Yes. Perhaps that's what Atia needs. And that means you would need to test it. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't give a prototype to Seven. I don't I don't want it could mess with her really badly. True, but I think we should focus on testing the actual jokers themselves to see if what I think is even credible. Well, who are we going to test it on? Uh, 
Well, that's very easy. Me. What? Are, what? Are, you, are you sure? It can really only be me. Think of it this way. Sybil, we shouldn't risk him turning his magic on us. I don't think he would want to consciously, but in that state, we saw what happened to Adrian, Shylan, Raquel. It's not safe. Seven is incredibly strong. She could possibly snap any bonds, snap our necks. Again, not on purpose, but we saw what it can do. Jojo is also a bad idea. He soundly defeated Seven and his bad luck curse. Reminds me a little bit of Father Lightbringer. I wouldn't even suggest doing it to Abigail because she's also magic. Caius, again, could possibly snap us like twigs. Adrian as, is buff and has magic. Hoshimi is dexterous and has magic. Shylan is buff and dexterous. Really? And you have to be the, un, the unbiased observer and who's actually familiar with science. I... Take away my gun and my knife, I'm fairly useless. At least in regards to physical fighting. I'm nimble, sure, but I can't... I don't really throw a punch. I can't really do anything that would actually harm anyone. She holds up her hands and motions to her feet. I don't even have claws like some other tieflings do. I have normal humanoid feet. And well normal humanoid hands. Well, we're speaking in matters of pure objectives here. I don't I don't want anything to happen to you if I give them to you. That's why we would do it perhaps in a controlled area. Where you could observe and perhaps someone else could restrain me. But I being the casual observer of that would be I Look, I, I know we're supposed to focus on the mission here, and the way you're putting it, you are the best test subject at the moment, but I I couldn't couldn't forgive myself if I had to ask you to go through with that. Have I said that you'd be asking? I'm volunteering. Well, I'm the one who gives the final okay. Aren't I? God dang it, Ellie. Based on what we saw, nothing physically happened to Raquel, Adrian, or Shylan when they were under the influence. Well, how do we know it's not different for other species or other creatures? We don't have enough test data to confirm that nothing bad's gonna happen to you. True, but... She looks by, she looks at Sybil, walking by. Oh, boy. <sighs> should we follow him? <laughs> you should probably keep him safe. Oh. Alright, fine. We walk and talk. Gosh. Okay. In case, though, it needs to be... Alright. He seems to just be sitting there, then that's fine. I can guard from here. <sighs> Look, I... From a purely objective standpoint, you're right, but I just... I... There's no... There's no logical way to put this. I just don't want to see you get hurt. And, uh... I don't... I don't think I will get hurt, honestly. I think that the plant only really affects your mental state, based on what we've seen. And uh, if it helps us figure out something that would help Seven, something that would help Raquel, Batia needs I think it needs to happen. If you would feel more comfortable doing it where we have a medical doctor, 
around or perhaps a second impartial observer. We could wait until we get to Directian and I could ask Dr. Gander for help, but... What the... You know, I could... Uh, Caius uh, knocks on the on his the door to his just you know um I could t- it's I, I could tie her up and you know just to make sure that she doesn't do it do anything bad and if she does you know get get violent I could oh, I could restrain her I mean I am strong enough just uh, just throwing out my services there. Olwen thinks pushes a little snaky strain. She has Snakey tie herself up. Here, no one else needs to, to tie me up. Nope, all good. We're good. We're set. All good. Why are you blush up? He slams the door. <laughs> eh, all restrained. There we go, Flint. Now you can test it. No problem. <laughs> the thing is, I want to make the jokes, but this, but this is either going to be really funny or really tragic. Yeah. All right then. All of the jokes. All of the implied jokes. All right. Anyways. So. Uh, she. D- but then she has Snakey release her. No problem. Plenty of uh, cautions. All done. Ah! Noise coming. To- you know what? Something's wrong. I'm going down there now. But, uh, so what is she gonna ask Adrian to fix the road? You guys okay? Uh, um, um, Adrian's just trying to put up protection, even though it's doesn't feel like it'll do much. Okay, so, okay, so just spells. Okay, coming back in just a minute. Just wanted to make sure you guys were safe. Merciful ah! heaven, what? No, what is all the noise? Ah! I was wondering that myself. Um. Seven got scared by something, and so Adrian is putting up protections to help her feel safe so she can sleep. Oh dear. Ah. Seven, are you alright? <laughs> scary thing out there. Big scary. Big scary. Uh. Hoshimi like pulls Seven's head. No, she sits in the chair and then pulls Seven's head into her lap. And she just kind of starts softly petting Seven. It's okay. Whatever the big scary thing is, it's not going to get you. <laughs> Even it could if it... get all of us! <laughs> Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you right now, it's not going to get us without t- no, without losing a few limbs in the process. You don't understand. What I understand is that we're all going to keep each other safe, including you. So try to calm down. Even if it, sh- even if it shows up, we'll fight it and we'll beat it, okay? What if it's not of this world? (laughs) You'd be surprised what normal people can do to things not of this world, Seven. (laughs) Trust in all of us to protect you, okay? And know that you can protect us, too. You're a strong griffin. Uh, you, uh, seven, you could see, uh, Adrian and all other, and three other Adrians not at the same time. <laughs> what the hey? He cast, he, had... he cast mirror image. <laughs> Why are there so many of you? He's making sure that we have a bigger defensive wall. This Sorry, thing we'll... is not of this world, Adrian and Hoshi. It even made simple. Nervous. He knows about it too. I don't even know how I know about it, but I do. Seven. And he knows as well, and he knows how. And that is thunder. That is scary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Seven. 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 Is it here now? 
I don't know where it is. But it's not here right now. No, but... That, if it's not here right now, then we're safe right now, aren't we? I guess so? And as long as we're careful, we'll know if it shows up, won't we? I think so. And in the worst case scenario, we can always just run, so... Don't worry. It'll be all right, one way or another. It's not a bad thing to run? No, it's not. Okay. I'll try to sleep then. Do you want to stay in here? Uh, she grabs one of the Adrians. <laughs> Snuggles one of uh, them. Uh, yeah, you, 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 it kind of goes through. Uh, it kind of goes through, and uh, that Adrian oh. actually disappears. <laughs> all right. There's so it's many like, Adrians oh. here that you can't hug them all. Don't worry, you'll be all right. No, you'll be all right, Seven. I just don't want to be alone. You won't be alone. She gently pets Seven along the neck. Try to sleep, okay? Okay. Night, night. Night! <sighs> and this is why- I'm I exhausting, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, continuing on. <laughs> All right, Clint and Owen. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's uh, done with everyone today. <laughs> I wanted to say I wanted to say two things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first of all, if I let you be the test subject for the fiery jokers. You gotta promise me that I'll be able to watch you every single second and at the slightest hint of anything happening to you, I can stop it. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I wanted you to watch anyway, because, you know, it's um, supposed to be scientific uh, experimentation. Frankly, I think it would just be you and me anyways. Um, just because, you know, limit possible issues um also you know control group i think that's a scientific term i don't know science wasn't my thing no you're you're right i uh he reaches for a piece of paper in his book and he almost puts it back but he takes it back out since we're you know sitting here I uh, wanted to sh tell you something. Mm -hmm. I uh, I got inspired. I got a little inspired at the uh, at the festival the other day, and I thought maybe you'd want to hear what it led to. Okay. Quinn starts reading a uh, a poem that he wrote. Flowers bloom on a warm day in spring. They have no mouth to speak, but I still hear them sing, as if filling the air with a soft hymn of glamour. Words barely escape me as I stutter and stammer. But among all the blossoms rests the finest of all. With petals that christen the earth as they fall, she is blind to the beauty that emits from her glow. But one day for sure, I will help her know. I never wrote that before. I never wrote anything like that before. I was never one with words, but it just kind of, you know, came to me. <laughs> um, 
she opens her mouth and closes and opens and closes and looks around anywhere except at him. Um, you can see she is trying very, very hard to fight any sort of denial or anything like that. Like, no, just... Um, <laughs> that was very beautiful. You did a great job. Um, I... I really like it. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. I. I don't think. No. I mean, um. I. Mm. You. You. You don't have to. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. I just. I just wanted you to hear it. Uh, she kneels down and gives him a hug. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I am, but. I'm just not very good at um today. I know it's supposed to be a compliment, and I'm not good at those, so I'm just sorry. It, it's okay. I, do you remember when we made a deal at the campsite that one time that we would mm -hmm. share things a little more often? I just just wanted to share something special with you. No, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it, and uh, I just did the. Yeah. You, 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 you go. I think they need a, another cuddle, buddy. You go, you, and it's time for bed. I will. I, Adrian told me to go sleep in a bed tonight, and I will eventually just guard for a little bit until you guys are all asleep, okay? Okay. Can, can I stay here? Uh. Okay. He peeks around just to check on Sybil really quick. See, he's, he's, he's still sitting in the chair. Sighs. Satisfied that he's okay. And then just sort of sits against the wall to make sure she can guard both. Alright. <clears throat> the character, what'd you think of that? <laughs> so cute! Okay, so, like... There are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten room, free rooms in this house. Two of you choose to sleep on the floor, and the and uh, like three of you choose to sleep in one room. Like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, aren't you glad me and Finn decided to exploring before? We yeah, we, me and me and Ab Bliss went nuts exploring the castle yeah, after the on, session. George was on the said. roof. It's like, okay. <laughs> Sybil's in a chair out on the balcony. What are you exactly. doing? It's just like, <laughs> wow, we won't even follow the railroad when it comes to sleeping. <laughs> it wasn't really a railroad. It's just like big monster, but the monster is a bed. <laughs> On this case, the floor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, any, anyways, uh, it is for reasons like this that I will never have children. <laughs> Alright, but uh, anyways, um, so everyone's going what to sleep. Yep. Yeah. There is one other thing, Josh. Oh. What's up? Never mind. Oh. Uh, oh, oh here we go. Uh, Adrian kind of wakes up and he notices the, the giant red ore that's from you. Like, for Ronnie? Hi, it's. Are you alright? You seem. troubled. Uh. Yeah. Well, um. A lot of things happened uh, since we last, um. last talked. Uh, it's weird. Normally, I'd be able to talk to you when uh, I find another part of you, but um, I don't know. It's, it feels like uh, like you're here for something else. I don't know. It's.
you seemed... I, I feel like you... I'm feeling resentment towards me. Sorry, um, I was attacked by Splacer Beasts, and I, I almost died. Oh. And I might, and I might have lashed out. I didn't mean what I said, I just... It... Something... Protect you, I want to be able to, you know, help you, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to help if I'm... Constant, if constantly, like worrying that I might not make it to the next temple to find you. Hmm. That's understandable. The problem is, Adrian, is that I am very limited in my interactions outside the sword. As I get more of these orbs, I can do more, but. As I am right now, I don't have much. I was able to keep you warm in the mountains because, well, you were freezing. And even then, it was difficult because you wouldn't let me. I I understand. You sound... Let me explain. When I kept you warm, there was resistance from you. Like, you refused me entry. I... I didn't know how it worked, and I, I, I didn't mean to. Like, this is all... This is all new. This, this is very new to me, and... If I was shutting you out, I, I, I didn't mean to. Well, I suppose I could help you better. It's, you'll just, it may be easier, but you'll need to want to let me in. Adrian takes a couple steps forward toward the aura. You don't, I understand you, if you... If you seem a little trepidatious about this, you don't have to make a decision now. If I'm going to help you, I need to let you in. And then he... Then he opens up his arms. All right. I'll be honest. This is new to me, too. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. Last chance before backing out. Are you sure you're okay with this? I'm ready. Very well. I hope I can do better to protect you. She transforms into a smaller wisp and flows into you. Uh, How does it feel? Her presence, again, her presence does not burn with a terrible heat, but it's more of a comforting warmth. Like the sensation of warming up after a cold day. Oh goodness, I can actually see out of your eyes. Yeah, this is. This is. Oh, oh, this is. 
You, your, your left arm raises involuntarily. Okay, not doing that again. Sorry, sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. Fine, you're... It's, it's fine. It's new... Uh, new body. I, uh, oh, no, oh, dear. I think we may have a problem. Uh, what, what do you mean, we have a problem? I don't know how to say this, but... I th think I may have bonded to your soul. Oh. Oh, that, um... Adri Adrian's, uh, putting, his, putting a hand on his chest. That's, um, uh... We're, we're not fused that... together, thank goodness, but it appears that the sword no longer houses me. You, you do. I'm still connected to the sword, but... Hmm. This is odd. Okay, um, okay. Tri trial run. Okay, you know what? This is, a. Uh, this is day one. This is a new chapter. Uh, oh, uh, you, uh, well, here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's clear that you and I have different values, and yet we are bonded in soul. I fear that if we happen to vehemently disagree on something, it could be ugly. Okay. This might be one of the ambivalent information. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I've compromised before. Uh, we can, we can work to compromise. Uh, find that middle ground right. somewhere. All right. Trial run. Um, uh, what's that ring you have on? A ring? Oh, um, oh, this ring, this ring here. Oh, uh, it was, um, it was to, to hide you, um, from uh, other uh, people who might want your hand might want to get your hands on you. Oh, you see, you feel the magic uh, kind of. You feel kind of her presence kind of flow through your arm and kind of. She kind of. It kind of flows into the ring. It's kind of studying it, and there's this kind of this uh, fizzling crack. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, not doing that again. I think I accidentally absorbed its power. Uh, oh. Ah, that's what that was. Mm. Okay, okay, so... Okay, not doing that again. I'd rather not be a magical energy sponge. Don't want to accidentally absorb something evil. Well, uh... Yeah, we're... I think we're... We're okay, so we're okay right now. Um... I don't have any, any evil wares on me, so that's that's good. The sword, it, it's strange. I house you. Your body houses me, but I'm still tethered to the sword. Try throwing it. I, I'm sorry. Throw the sword. At, at what? There's not. There's literally nothing here. Yes. So you'll be able to pick it back up. I. Okay. Um. Adrian unsheaths the sword and kind of tosses it into the the un <laughs> it tosses it into the void. So yeah, you toss it into the void, and it it starts flowing for a bit, and then there's a bright flash, and it appears back in your hand. Oh. Hmm. Nifty. Okay. That's okay. That that, that that's new. And, and I, I did throw you the one time, and it automatically came back. Yeah, you know, like you know, like a boomerang. This is uh, this is different. Right. Um. Another good thing is it doesn't seem like since we are bonded in soul, I don't have to wait until you're asleep to talk to you. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I just gotta make sure that when I'm hearing you in my head, I'm 
let everybody else know that you're talking to me. So, uh... Yes, honesty okay, is that's, okay, that, Yeah, that might, might be a little weird if, uh, I say something, like, out of context and they don't... Everyone just looks at me weird. Hmm. Well... This is going to be a learning experience for the both of us. All right. That sounds good. Um. All right. And so, uh, so Adrian has, this is Adrian's Soul Forger dedication. Yep. All right. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, next day. Next day. <laughs> a few uh, hours later. <laughs> okay, that so because Olwyn did promise Adrian like she would sleep in a bed for some of it, she did at one point wake up, see Flint still on the floor, and move them over, move them both over to a bed. <laughs> yeah, same bed uh, or like, like in here? I, I mean. Or should I go to like a different bed? She put Flint at the pillow and she slept at the foot, like uh, Michael from the office. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So. Okay. Now... Oh, do we all uh, take our take a rest? Yes. All right. So. So weird to be well rested. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, assuming we w i'm assuming we woke up before dawn so that we could get to the carriage yeah, place yeah, before it's, yeah, it's, currently, it's currently before it's currently like about uh 10 minutes before dawn <laughs> also i just realized i'm still kind of, I'm still kind of damaged even after the rest yeah also, you don't I'm heal still... completely in this in this yeah yeah still no it's yeah. just yeah it's uh it's set yeah uh, Flint's, just, Flint's gonna need to mit it's like, you know, potions or treating mit wounds. Yep. Also, this Anyways. is gonna have to be notional, of course, but I'm gonna say that Charlene yeah. basically jumps off the balcony into the dining area. Because he's gotta be that person. Okay. Right. Anyways, uh, so, Abigail, so, Jojo, you see that Abigail and Caius are standing together and they're, they, they appear to look at you expectantly. Uh, Jojo? Uh, a moment. Hmm? I'll give you two if you want. Great. What's all I've this? Been, I've been sp I've been speaking with Caius, and hmm, there's something that we do. There's something I would like to bring. This is hard. I'm sorry. This is hard. You know that we recently lost a good friend, Jared Jenkins, right? Uh, yes. He was a member. He was a member of our adventuring group, uh, adventuring group, the group, the Blue Eagles. Catchy name for an adventuring group. Yes. Given some of the revelations last night. I've been talking it over, and there's two things that we do need to investigate. One of them is that one of them is Arpolian, who is in Directian, most likely, and the other is the matter of the Rakshasa, who apparently used this building for bat... who used this building for trafficking and you're the one that who seems to have a connection to this rakshasa so I was thinking we could kill two birds with one stone here I'd like you to join our adventuring group Jojo and you said it was uh, the bird group it, the blue the blue eagles we thought it so we thought it sounded we thought it sounded good huh. We would be we would be heading towards the Rakshasa while everyone else would be find it while everyone else here would be going 
figuring out Arpolian. Well, I guess if that's what I needed. I'm I just, I saw how you, you, how thorough you were up there. It's like you were careful for mimics. You had, you thought very laterally. It's. I think you would be a great asset to our team. Uh, thank you. Um, I guess I'm your cat. Uh, speaking of which, you said it's a you hear kind of this uh, like kind of low cat yowl. Uh, behind, behind you, Jojo. Just... What? And you oh, see... Man. And you see... Are you kidding me? Um, I can't see, so describe. Describe! It's in the sidebar! Alright, alright, alright. Oh no! <laughs> He's back. Is that a grumpy ah. cat then? <sighs> well, we wanted cameos. So the the cat, it's like the cat, the cat kind of gives you a curt nod, and then just and then just walks away, and then just walk walks away from the door. Jojo calls after. Thanks. <laughs> well, I guess I am your cat. Ah. Uh, get it's a uh, Abigail says. What was that? Long story. Ah. Uh, so. Do you have? Well, that's a good first order of business done. We'll be leaving. We'll be leaving immediately. But uh. Oh shoot! I forgot. Uh, she she runs over to. It's like, where are you? Where are you? Ah. Do you have any guidance for me, my master? Oh no, no! I'm just here for my cameo. Bye. Ah, old old uh, officer Edgeworth. Ah uh, yes. Could, uh, could uh, you come uh, over here? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I need sure. To speak to you. Okay. And she says this in Infernal. How goes your mission to recover the artifact? Uh. You know we've been missing for six months. Yes. I was about to take out the target containing the, well, that absconded with the artifact when we disappeared. And I have not been able to track him since, as I've been on sabbatical, and basically, this Arpolian fellow could be a lead as well. I am still on the lookout for him confronted Professor Tanleal. I was not there. Still looking for him. Always. Well, this is an infernal. Yes. Hmm. That's... Not what I... Hoped for him, but... The so thing is, the thing is, Your Majesty, is that I'm not 100% sure if my orders have, are the same. So I've been gone for six months. I'm not sure if someone else has taken over the assignment. I need to catch up on that information, and considering the fact that the artifact is so confidential and so important, I need to get that in person. I don't want any chance of it being intercepted. I see. 
rest assured, it is still my priority. I need to figure out how. And that's another reason why I want to get to directing as soon as possible. My sabbatical is up and about. I'm sorry, I'm being attacked by a dog. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Arya alone. <laughs> Corey! Corey I, took off her co- I, I took off her collar because she was being so wiggly. It's, but she still, she was still trying to climb on me. Um. <laughs> Puppy wants love too. Okay. Just assured, she is. He is. Uh, it is still a priority, and I know the artifact itself is priority one. I just don't know if someone else has taken on that priority in my absence. I do understand the consequences and how dangerous it can be if left in the wrong hands. All right. And considering whose hands it were, it was in, I can't think of worse hands. All right. All right, just... I don't need to stress how much this means to me. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you. You're welcome. All right. And so, I, uh... I do have one question, Your Highness. Yes? I'm not exactly sure of what the artifact looks like. And that's where we can cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and that's where we're, that's where we're leaving this this session. <laughs> <laughs>